So I posted these two photos on Instagram and you guys went nuts with the tutorial request which made me super stoked because this was by far the most highly requested tutorial I've ever had. And it is using the Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter eyeshadow stack, which it was in my favorite, so of course, you know, I love it. But if you want to see how to achieve this look, then let's get started. I already went ahead and primed my eyes with MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm going in with Unseen from the stack and a MAC 224. I'm picking up just a little bit of product, and I'm going to work in small circular motions. I'm going to be starting at the outer corner and working my way inwards. And you can carry this however high up you want to. Wiping off that brush really well, I'm taking Blur from the stack and it is probably my favorite color because it's like an eraser shade. And so I'm just going to be going on the kind of area where we had Unseen. I'm just going to put that color right in that area. Taking Enigma and a flat shader brush, we're going to be packing this onto the lid. We want that transition between the lid color and the crease to really flow nicely, so I'm taking a bit of a more precision blending brush. This is the M139 from Morphe Brushes, and taking that Enigma color again, we're just going to use small circular motions to blend this into our crease. It's going to make that look a lot better and kind of flow better as um, a look. This part is completely optional, but I'm going to go back through and kind of touch up the other colors we have going on to make sure that they are vibrant and blended out as well. Okay, so now I'm going to be winging out my eyeliner. And just go ahead and use whatever liner you are most comfortable with. It's all personal preference. I'm using the M Cosmetics um, Scribble Calligraphy Liquid Liner. And I want this liner to be pretty thick. I'm going in with the Art and CN Monster um, Eye Coal. This is my favorite pencil eyeliner. I'm going to be lining my upper lash line to kind of really ground this look. And I'm gonna look crazy, but that's totally okay. For my lower lash line, I'm taking the Morphe G18 brush and Unseen again. And I'm just gonna be blending this kind of as our transition shade for the lower lash line. I'm taking that same eye coal and I'm gonna be running this along my lower lash line and carrying it down just a bit. And I'm even going into that inner corner as well. And you can be sloppy with um, this because we're just going to be blending it out so it doesn't matter. Taking the Morphe M408 and Enigma and Dark Matter Mix, I'm going to be going right on the edge of that liner with windshield wiper motions to blend this color out. And you really want to make sure you take your time with this. Then I'm jumping back into Unseen to help that transition. This is probably the scariest part for me. I'm taking that same eyeliner and I'm going to be elongating the inner corner. And this gives us more of a desired eye shape, supposedly. I just really like the way it looks. It gives us more of that cat eye, almond shaped eye. And so it's okay if you totally mess up. I mess up all the time when I'm doing this. I'm just going to try my best to extend it and make it look as natural as possible. So I noticed a little bit of color difference in the liner and then transitioning transitioning into the lower lash line. So I'm taking a 
angled brush and dark matter and I'm gonna help that transition easier by just brushing it along that area. I'm gonna be applying some mascara and lashes. The lashes I am using are Annabelle from Flutter Lash Ink and I think they are great because they have that wing shape which is really gonna complement this whole liner situation we have going on. Alright guys, so here's the finished eye look. And let's move on to the rest of the face. I already went ahead and contoured and I'm going to be doing my favorite highlight combo at the moment. I'm going to be starting out with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I'm just put a little bit on the back of my hand and with my ring finger I'm going to place this on top of my cheekbones. Next, I'm going in with the NARS Reckless Highlighter and just a small highlighting brush. This one is from Cosette. And I'm just going right over where we had that Becca color. And this combo is literally life-changing. All right, so now for blush, I'm taking what I believe is called Damselfly from Becca and the F10 brush from Sigma. I'm just going to be applying that in between the contour and highlight. And my face is already red because it's really hot in here. Moving on to lips, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in the color 14C. I'm going to be lining my lips and then kind of fading that in on the corners to give more of a dimension. For my lipstick, I'm taking Whisper from Nude Sticks, which I'm completely obsessed with. We're just going right over that liner. I'm going to be setting all this makeup and all this hard work with a setting spray. I'm using the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Okay guys, so here's the finished look. Thank you to everyone that requested this for a tutorial. I had so much fun filming it. And I'm going to start trying out a few different backdrops. So I want to know your thoughts on that in the comment section down below. And if you want any more tutorials with the melt stacks, go ahead and let me know down there too. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! For lip, moving on 